Take it. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. And now a moment to check out the leaders in the all-star voting. Balloting underway. And this is really a, a fun time of year. You're starting to see which players are going to be in the running to make the all-star team. And you're looking low. He's gotten his share of votes, but there are still a lot of players in front of him. And it's just been tough in the East this year. Kevin, so many guys are having huge seasons. Even getting near the top 10 is impressive. And it's going to be an exciting showcase. We'll keep you updated with the results each day during the voting. Look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the three spot. And for Toronto. And the forwards for them. It's Ananobi and Siakam. Lowry and Van Vliet are the guards. And it's Baines in at the center. Now here's Van Vliet. Boy, he just disappeared against Atlanta. They really needed it. Ananobi has the open look. Drops in the tray. Ananobi's got the first three points tonight for the Raptors. Now here's Simmons. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Fader on the way. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Greg, you've always said to have a winning team, you need franchise players. Talk about the specific qualities you look for in those superstars that can catapult a team to greatness. It's a great question, Kevin. Talent really isn't enough. You know, whether you lead vocally or by example, the agenda has to be winning and your best players really define who your team is going to be. So the franchise caliber player is a much needed asset. Count the master. That pick and roll is where Kyle Lowry shines. The defense left with only bad choices. The shot's good. And Beach got his second bucket. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. But oh, the power is through it. You know, he's known as a lunch pail guy. Siakam showed the crowd a little extra that time. Pass to Harris. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. A fadeaway, and B, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. Harris outside. Back to Simmons. Pass to Harris. Outside, Simmons. Pocket six. And that one, good. I admire Simmons' ability inside. That's where he's an elite finisher. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Back to Lowry. From deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's got five points so far. Dude, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And Green gets it to go. Okay, responding to the three at the other end. Danny Green loves the gamesmanship. And, and you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And B, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. And Pascal Siakam can absolutely score hit bunches. He put up 25 and a quarter last season, and when he gets going, take a break. Look out. Take a break. GA, when Pascal Siakam is on, it seems like he's involved in every play. Must stay consistent. But you know what? He's a special player who can carry a team to win on any given night. And the first one at the line is good. You have to give Pascal Siakam a lot of credit. He's continued to improve the shooting percentage both from the field and the line. Siakam hits them both. Well, Greg, Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019. And as we've talked about, had a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumps so much again. He deserved the recognition. He continued to press himself to be an elite forward. Here for a former MIP winner. He can be considered for the award more than once. Now, here is Lowry. He's got seven. Baines is three on Simmons. The 76ers trail by five. Vibel kicks to Simmons. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Back to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. With the combination of strength and size, Simmons throws it down with ease. The drive by Seattle. Rejected by Hicks. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Five on the clock. Fires the three. And don't sleep on Simmons defensively. Very skilled there as well. He just knows where to be and how to guard whoever he's on. There's the pass to Harris. Now Feibel. Baines pulls it down. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Lowry passes to Van Vliet. Ananobi with it. Eight points his last outing. Back to Van Vliet. Let's it go with the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Stinky start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. The 76ers trail by six. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. From deep green. Rebound by the Raptors. Here's on an open. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. And here is Simmons. High post, Embiid. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Now, Feibel. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Simmons inside. Now recovering. And that one's good, Simmons. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Baines finds Van Vliet. And Siakam has it in the corner. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. 
Simmons dishes to him. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Baines. Embiid's shot is good. And now, just a two-point Toronto lead. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Checked in for OG Ananobi. Norman Powell comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And it's Terrence Davis in for Kyle Lauer. And then for Philadelphia, White Howard's checked in for Harris. Shake Milton comes in for Danny Green. And Curry subbed in for Matisse Thibel. Davis, the pass to Baines. Now here's Davis. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Here's Powell, and it's sent back by Howard. And Howard takes his shot blocking very seriously, spying up and sending him back with his impressive vertical. Now, here's Milton. Last game, he had 12. Curry outside. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his third assist on the night. Siakam looking around. It's up a three. Milton grabs the board. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Simmons finds Curry. And he pops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Passes it to Siakam. Pass to Pop. Shot clock at five. It's good from long range. Oh, he's got the game tied up here for the round. We talk about Siakam's versatility. Great timing and location on the pass. Curry on the wing. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. The pass to Siakam. And he uses the glass on the way. Siakam's got six. You know, with Siakam, it's not just his size. It's his agility that allows him to succeed in the painted area. Just to Howard. Here's MD. Covered by Bain. Ball is not loose. Davis against Simmons. Outside, Davis. Howard against Siakam. Over Howard. Siakam misses. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Down low. And they double up Simmons. Back to Curry. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Axie's jacked in for Simmons. Here's Matthew. 
just five to shoot, and they pick up two. Siakam with it. No good on that one. Good D by Embiid. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Maxi. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and just a top-notch free throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. throw good Maxi with COVID shortening the season and the schedule Steve being tinkered with do you think the NBA will make permanent changes to the season schedule Kevin I don't think so when everything gets back to normal I think we'll be at 82 games and start you know like we usually do in October September for games I just think the NBA has done a fantastic job of being able to adapt to this situation We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. The try is by Siakam. Defensively, you can't let Siakam get all the way to the rim. That's automatic. To the left wing. And the hit against Siakam. And here's Maxi. Six to shoot. Corkmans. And the layup is good. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Raptors trail by four. Siakam outside. Takes it inside. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Yeah, and Superman taking flight for the lob finish. Toronto's gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four of nine. Passes it to Davis. Misses the three. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. With the drive, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, way to play an attack mode and get to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls. Both shots good from the strike. 30 seconds left in the first. Raptors trail by eight. Now Davis. Eight points his last outing. Folks one. Length plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Philadelphia shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Free throw drops for MB. Really an underrated part of MB's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Will it go? And MB with the block. A 
big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. He provided some serious rim protection in that quarter. Good luck getting the shot over this guy. We'll return shortly. And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about, you know, what I need to focus on. And with social media now, Greg, blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They are penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. The wingmen will be Van Vliet and Powell. Ananobi out the out there with Aaron Davis. And it's Lowry in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now, here's Ananobi. Shoots over Embiid. And Embiid with the block. Here's Korkmaz. Another three for Philadelphia. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Jake Milton comes in for Korkmaz. And it's Ben Simmons in for Maxi. It's stolen by Harris. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Simmons passes to Green. And played against Simmons. B trying to break loose, and it's Simmons. That time on the assist by Green. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Van Vliet, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about, I, I actually averaged more Super points two. in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. And he makes the first. He's gone from undrafted to a champion. Fred Van Bleet has come a long way, and he's not done yet, in my opinion. Second free throw, no good. Philadelphia leading by 17. Now here's Simmons. Eight points for him. 76ers moving the ball around. Eight feet away, and it's Toronto with the rebound. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it's blocked by Simmons. How about the balance and body control? Simmons able to send that one back. Sky high, one of his advantages as a undersized four. Set one. Raptors trail by 19. Van Vliet right side. And the shot goes down. Van Vliet's got six. And here are the 76ers now. 
In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. Now here's Van Vliet after the miss from Joel Embiid. And this group gives us a second look at the shooting guards leading their position in steals over the last 10 games. Fifth best, Fred Van Vliet. And this is a very intense group. I mean, those steals don't come by accident. I mean, they've gotten them through the effort, and they're willing to expend that kind of energy on that Shoot aspect two. of the game. You'll never find any of those guys sitting back and letting their guard down for a single moment. That's for sure. They're out there looking for every opportunity to make an impact defensively. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Outside, green. Pass to Embiid. Fade. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Toronto with the ball, 17-point game. Here's on an over. Baines a screen on Harris. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Saturday, They'll take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And looking at the Boston matchup, even though they should get the win, I, I would expect it to be a bit of a battle. Just because they are favored doesn't mean it's an automatic W. Now, here's Bain. He points his last outing. And here are the 76ers now. The lead is 15. Here's the teardrop, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. No answer for Simmons, a tenacious scorer who finishes with muscle through contact. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the 76ers making a change here. Eibel's checked in. And this is for Simmons. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It, it is, Kevin. And, and, yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital.
the action. Now let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. We take a look at the 76ers. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And of course, the Toronto Raptors just need to take it a game at a time. And seeing where the 76ers are, they're not an opponent any team wants to see on their schedule. They've been producing all season long. And guys, I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. And here is Simmons following Fred Van Vliet's three. Embiid against Bain. Count it. Embiid's got six here in this quarter. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. The drive by Lowry. That's good, and that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. He's a great finisher for a player his size. When Kyle Lowry gets a step to the hoop, he's going for the bucket. Simmons passes to Harris. the pass to Embiid. Outside for Simmons. Shot clock at three. Over Lowry. Simmons can't get it to go. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. Now here's Simmons following the miss by Kyle Lowry. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And, and checking out some stats here for Ben Simmons. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. Fifth in blocks. Eighth in assists. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percent. And yeah, he's been a brutal shot blocker all season long. As, as you said, top five in the league. He's a dangerous force to face inside. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. Oh, Van Vliet following Tobias Harris's three-point attempt. It is not good. He's made half of his six attempts. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Harris. Simmons on the wing. He's got 10. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And the league taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can, we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the idea of a play-in <laughs> tournament a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last one. few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. It might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also, if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future, uh, I think that's going to help. But I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward. Thomas, he's checked in for Powell. DeAndre Bembry comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And it's Terrence Davis in for Kyle Lowry. 
Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Davis kicks to Siaka. Looking to end his cold spell. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And he can't get the first one. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. The 76ers making a switch here. Maxi's checked in. Davis surveying the floor. Passes to Benbury. The three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got four rebounds now tonight. Axie passes to Howard. To stop the drought. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Davis with some nice D. Driving to the basket. Oh, that's blocked. And now Philadelphia on the break. That one good for two. Bibles got his first points of the night. Raptors trail by 19. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Siakam. Rejected by Hicks. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Pass to Kerr. And here's Maxi. He's got six. Howard with a screen on and an over. And the shot is good. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Siakam. Rejected by Harris. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Portmaz checked in for the 76ers. Siakam outside. Set up, set up. Here's Bembry. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Siakam finds Thomas. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Bembry. And the rejection by Curry. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Philadelphia leading by 21. The pass to Korkmaz. Curry a screen on top. Korkmaz. From outside, off the mark. Toronto's gone 1 of 4 from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. The drive by Siakam. It is good. Siakam's got 10 points. Oh, great concentration from Siakam. Takes the hit, yet his eyes never leave the rim. Outside Curry. Pass to Maxi. Fires for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. He's got nine. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Right wing. Here's Siakam. The shot. No good. Some solid defense from Harris. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Curry is inside. He's guarded by Ananobi. Yeah, and Howard is a master at setting a hard screen and then rolling fast to 
to the rim. For a guy his size, not many defenders are going to try to get in his way. Now, here's Siakam. He's got 10. Impressive spin move, too. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Out to the right wing. Passes it to Maxi. Outside Curry. I'm open right here. 59 seconds left to play here in the half. Five to shoot. Pass to Korkmaz from outside the arc. Benbury with the rebound. The Raptors shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. Back to Davis. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Howard's got six rebounds now in the game. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Maxi passes to Harris. And Siakam has got the ball here for Toronto. Next step for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Dwight Howard. Yes, people have been surprised by Siakam's offense. What I'm surprised about is the efficiency. The Raptors have shot five of eight from the foul line. Shooting two. They throw good to Siakam. Siakam hits them both. And so it's Philadelphia closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. And I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're I, sitting it's in. There's only three of us. Went and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. It was Joel Embiid who got hot in the first. He ended up with 15 points, five rebounds, and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they were dishing out dimes left and right, and the guys were finishing strong. As a team, they seem to be always thinking, always looking for the best shot. If they keep sharing the ball this way, the second half could be more lopsided than the first. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Well, the big issue to address, Ernie, is their rebounding. They got low energy, low effort on the glass. Unless they go out there with a whole different attitude, how the score can look like Kenny, U-G-L-Y. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Joel Embiid has been sensational. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And after a very lopsided first half, 
We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Taking a look at the 76ers, Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons, and it's Green in its small forward. Raptors trail by 20. Outside Lowry, fires from deep. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. And you look over the course of Kyle Lowry's career, he's bounced around for quite some time, but boy, has he found a home in Toronto. And you know, G.A., a few summers back, had a chance to leave, but he stayed with the Toronto Raptors. What a decision that was. The reason why he helped lead this team to their first title. Kyle Lowry's beloved by this franchise. He'll go down as one of the all-time great Raptors. Strong finish. Siakam with great balance. Able to complete the play through contact. Green the pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Shot clock at six. Simmons dishes to Embiid. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any, too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And, and just a top-notch free throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And MB drops them both. A difficult situation for Toronto. Baines is free on Harris. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. To the wing on the left. Embiid inside. Baines is there. Another miss by Philadelphia. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Go, go, go. He takes it in. Yes, it is. Well, that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Kyle Lowry isn't tall, but he is fearless going down there in the lane. Philadelphia leading by 20. Simmons with it. Ten points for him. Popped up there for Embiid. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. The Raptors have gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. Now he's jacked in for the Raptors. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Now Lowry, 11 points in the game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Harris. Well, it's hard to accurately describe how much Kyle Lowry means to this offense. Functions as the primary ball handler and playmaker. Deadly shooter from outside who gets it done on a high volume. And the first one drops. And with all the skills that Lowry possesses, G.A., his decision-making might be the most valuable. You know, he doesn't overthink it on the floor. And it's not just decision-making offensively. He does a great job of quarterbacking their defense as well. Coach Nurse and the rest of the Raptors have complete trust in Kyle. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. You know, the universal theme to Lowry's game is toughness. 
mentally and physically, he tries to wear you down. Simmons passes to Harris. Defense. 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 And the pass to Embiid. Just five on the clock. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Raptors trail by 20. Lowry finds Van Vliet, and it's blocked. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Outside, Simmons. Out to the wing. Harris looking it over. Basket counts. Just another shot in his arsenal. Tobias with the mid-range jumper. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet. And he drives in. It's tipped. Get on Van Vliet against Harris. Kicks it to Simmons. High post and B. There's the dish to Green. Pass to Harris. Shoots over Van Vliet. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Raptors have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Pass to Baines. Oh, here's Van Vliet. 11 points in the game. And stolen by Simmons. Thibault with the ball. Lowry picks him up. Thibault can't get it to go. The Raptors shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Now, here's Lowry. Defense right on him. Three-pointer. And again, no good by Toronto. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Harris kicks to Simmons. Outside, Green. There's the three. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Van Vliet looking around. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. All right, a chance to see stats for Lowry. His last 10 games, getting around 12 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the 76ers. Korkmaz comes in for Green. And it's Shake Milton in for Matisse Thibel. So one for two that time at the strike. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. To Harris. And here's MB covered by Bain. Six on the shot clock. Here's Korkmaz. That one no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Loads it up there for Siakam. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. The innate ability of Siakam to see the play forming and gets where the team needs him. The pass to Harris. Milton with it. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And they double up in B. Outside, Simmons. There's the drive. The 76ers again can't hit it. Raptors trail by 19. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change in the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated leagues. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. But three. Milton grabs the board. 
Philadelphia leading by 16. He kicks it to Simmons. It's Korkmaz in the corner. And B trying to break loose. And that one's good. Korkmaz. Korkmaz has got his third bucket of the night. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Siakam with it. Now defended by Embiid. And Siakam throws it down. Big time move and a big night for Siakam. Looking like a perennial all-star. Pass to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz. And here is Milton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Simmons trying to get open. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. In this period, they're feeding him. And he's feeling it. Here's Lowry. 16 points for him. Baines passes to Lowry. And he lays it straight in. He's got 18 points in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Korkmaz. Eight points for him. Powell with the steal. The finish. And the dunk by Powell. He takes advantage of him in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal. And then bang! Great to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Van Vliet and it's Jaron Davis in for Kyle Lowry Philadelphia also making some changes Howard's checked in for Harris Curry comes in for Korkmaz and Maxi subbed in for Simmons Bobbed up there for Howard Howell with the steal and Thomas has it in the corner fires the three and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Milton's got four rebounds now tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Let's have a look at the league's top scores for the past month. To say these guys have been hot is an understatement. Second, Joel Embiid. What a performance offensively. Something has really clicked with his game over this stretch. Powell with it. He has five. Going inside, and it's sent back by Howard. Here's Curry with the three, and Davis pulls it down. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Thomas, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got ten rebounds here tonight. He's so active. Howard with the screen on Davis. Here's Curry, and it's denied! Sent back by Siakam! Now Davis. No points in the game yet for him. Driving inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Embiid. 
Raptors have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. First one falls for him. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Ananobi, he's checked in for Aaron Baines, and it's Pembry in for Norman Powell. And both free throws good for Davis. 76ers leading by 13. Curry on the wing. The tray. And Davis pulls it down. Toronto's gone into a soft here from three point range, shooting just 1 to 5 here in the third. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got 11 rebounds in the game. Now here's Curry. He has seven. Into the lane. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Thomas surveying the D. Passes to Bembry. Siakam with it. Shot clock at six. Outside, Davis. Shoots from 14. Siakam misses. The 76ers shooting an efficient 53% from the field. High post, Howard. Pass to Maxi. Raptors trail by 13. OG Ananobi out of Indiana. He was the 23rd pick in the 2017 draft. Another great draft selection that day. Slip due to injuries concerns, but he's been great. Now, here's Milton. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Howard against Siakam. And there's the pass to Curry. To end the cold streak. No good on the shot. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. And breathe the pass to Davis. It's not going to go for him. Good D by B. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken. And the team is suffering the consequences. Over to the left wing. And here's Maxi from downtown. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Siakam outside. Shoots the three. Hits it from three-point range. Siakam's got 23. I'm not going to confuse him with Kevin Durant out there, but Siakam has become a real threat from distance. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We come back right after this. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Lowry and Van Vliet of the guard set. Siakam is out there with Ananobi. 
and it's Powell in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Here's Simmons after the Raptors pick up two. Embiid kicks to Simmons. Embiid sets the pick for Simmons. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. You can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. His confidence just soars when he slams it down like that. And it's Lowry penetrating. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. From mid-range, they've been on fire today. Those jump shots have been falling all game. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. The free throw drops for Lowry. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris has checked in. And so he hits both. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Popped up there for Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Hard to imagine a much better target on the alley-oop than Embiid. Get the lob anywhere in his vicinity, and you might wind up on a highlight reel. Baines a screen on Harris. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. First free throw is good. Siakam hits them both. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Pass to Embiid. He dishes it to Green. Passes it to Simmons. Shoots over Powell. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist by Green. Green's got five assists in the game. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Right on the bucket. That's a grown man basket right there by Kyle Lowry. He is so good at getting dirty down inside. Outside, Simmons. Over Lowry. And it's Kyle Lowry with the rebound. Lowry's got his fifth rebound in this one. Driving the lane from 11 feet away, and that one goes long. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to Harris. And Beads, that's the pick for Harris. Six to shoot. Over Siakam. But they recover it. Here's Embiid, goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Embiid's got 27. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies.
again for Seth Curry. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Now here's Tom. Now the pass to Baines. Here's Powell. Baines a screen on green. Here's Powell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Embiid. The free throw drops for Pop. That one misses. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And that one's good. Feibel. And that's what Simmons does. His vision and accuracy make him a premier presence on the floor. Here's against Siakam. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors are able to retain possession here. Seventy Sixers on defense. The biggest lead of the game was twenty-four points. Coming after like a pit bull, Danny will get in your shirt and stop you cold. Popped up there for Embiid. The shot, no good. Well, that alley oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. No, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Nice break, Philadelphia. A pull up, and it's denied! Sent back by Siakam! Green kicks to Thibel. From deep, it's hauled in by the Raptors. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Van Vliet outside, and again, no good by Toronto to the middle, and Embiid throws it down. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Now, here's Lowry. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump, and it's not going well. Embiid dishes to Green. Oh, with the steal. Last break. Here come the Raptors. And it's good. Two points. The 76ers leading by 12. Simmons passes to Embiid. Shoots over Bain. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 16 here in the second half. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up, sets the example for everyone. The three, Siakam. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Simmons got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside, green. Back to Simmons. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Bible, the pass to Simmons. Bible on the wing. Five on the clock. And what a terrific job he's doing tonight. No trouble going in there among the trees and pulling down monster rebounds. Now here is Lowry. Good on the shot. Lowry's got six here in this quarter. And really, Lowry has made his career off delivering through contact. Really one of the strongest point guards in this league. Pass to Harris. Here's Fable. 
They grab their own miss. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now here is Lowry. Passes it to Siakam. Over Harris. Baines trying to get open. Some solid defense from Harris. The 76ers leading by 12. Dishes it to Simmons. Harris with it. Feeds to Embiid. Now Van Vliet. Now here's Lowry. Baines a screen on Simmons. Lowry kicks to Baines. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. That's what you get from a veteran playmaker. If you get open, Lowry will find you. Simmons passes to Harris. Into to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. On the arc. And that one's good. Freibel. And the 76ers lead by 12. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. And Simmons slams it in. And, and really, Simmons is nearly impossible to contain when he's sprinting to the hoop. An athletic behemoth who causes defenders fit. Every shot is good. He's got 17 now, just in the second half. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. And Simmons kicks to Thibel. And Baines pulls it down. Raptors trail by 12. Siakam passes to Van Fleet. Back to Siakam. Lowry against Simmons. The shot by Lowry, no good. Philadelphia's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And the basket by Harris. Beautiful catch and shoot. Look at the pass right on time, and Tobias, he knocks it down. Lowry against Simmons. Outside Lowry. Kicks it to Powell. Takes a three. The shot misses. Now the 76ers take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And good that time. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. How? No one around him. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. The Raptors making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. Here is Lowry. And Siakam has it in the corner. Rocket six. Pass to Baines. Shoots over MD. And it's Baines missing. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Hey, yo, right here. Outside, Simmons. There's the pass to Embiid. Back to Simmons. Here he goes. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And NB throws it down. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. There's a minute 34 left in the game. 
Thibault the pass to Simmons. And there's the drive, and Simmons slams it in. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win, fourth of 76. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Solid play, definitely, Kevin. And so when you look at the season record, this one will tally up win number 43 on the year. And this will be their third win in three tries against these guys. They match up so well. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Joel Embiid. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Now here is Harris, following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Pass to Van Vliet. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the basket by Lowry. If you needed a reminder as to why Lowry's an all-star, check the scoring column. Lowry against Simmons. Here's Harris. And the layup's good off the glass. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Baines a screen on Simmons. Lowry drives in. Chalk up two there. Lowry's got 31. Unafraid to challenge you inside. Lowry's a scoring threat on all three levels. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Joel, we've heard in the past some people questioning your level of fitness. What's your response? You know, I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing this year. And I've been healthy, and uh, I haven't been injured. And I'm going to try to keep that. I'm just trying to gonna keep that way. So. Well, whatever you're doing is working, man, so keep it up. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.